is narrated by Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said that a man that has even the slightest bit of arrogance in his heart, he doesn't enter paradise. So, you know, a man sitting next to the Prophet sallallahu he was a little bit confused about what exactly is kibr. So he further asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, O Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a man loves for his clothes to be neat and nice and tidy. And just likewise, he also wishes for, to, for him to have good shoes. So the Prophet sallallahu he said, that's not really from kibr, rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beautiful and he loves beauty as well. Arrogance is when you reject the truth and you look down upon people. And you don't uh, respect people in the manner that, or in the due manner that they're supposed to be respected. So, you know, this is how the Prophet ﷺ, he described arrogance to be, that you reject the truth. Because when you look at yourself as you're something that you're really not, you begin to think that whatever anybody else is saying won't be the truth. Secondly, not only does that happen, rather Allah Azza wa Jal Himself, He takes the tawfiq out of you for you to be able to accept the truth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this in the Qur'an, He says, those that are arrogant in the land, I will turn them away from my signs, from my verses. As in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take away that capability from within you of accepting truth. Arrogance. And He replied, and he said, I was given a birthright. This is my birthright of superiority. I was born to be superior. I am superior to him. By birthright, I'm superior to him. I'm special. They're just like cockroaches. This is the arrogance with which history began. And be careful to check out to find whether that arrogance will repeat itself at the end of history. Is this why? Is this why Allah ordered the angels and ordered Iblis to bow down before Adam? So that you can see from the beginning of history how history will end. These are a people with whom history began. And then finally, وَمُلْكِنْ la yabla, Eternal rule. Eternal rule. We are born to rule over you. That history will now repeat itself. The arrogance of Pharaoh. That arrogance will now manifest itself once again. وَمُلْكِنْ لَا يَبْلَى An eternal rule <laughs> will resurface again in the historical process with the Zionist movement. And so history is going to end the way Pharaoh ended. That the people who will live the way he lived will end the way he ended. And that end of history will come with the return of the son of Mary, the son of the Virgin Mary. Oh.